Hello once again, and welcome back. It's time for Mega Man 3. Not much to say here about the beginning. We don't get a backstory this time, but the story in this one is pretty convoluted. But uh, let's just begin. So at this point, Dr. Wily has been defeated twice and has claimed to have sort of reformed his ways. And now he's working with Dr. Light to make this giant robot called Gamma. And these robot masters are supposed to be mining crystals or something to power Gamma. I don't, I'm not really sure. But anyway, they go berserk, and, uh, and they steal the power crystals from Gamma, and, and so Mega Man has to come in and kill all the Robot Masters and find out what's really going on. But, um, look at that weird little graphical glitch over Shadow Man. As far as I know, every copy of Mega Man 3 does that, uh, at the menu screen, which is sort of weird. But anyway, so here's the order I'm gonna do. Snake Man, Mag Magnet Man, Hard Man, Top Man, Shadow Man, Spark Man, Gemini Man, and finally Needle Man. So Snake Man and Magnet Man are both, um, they're both weak to the Mega Buster, so I like to just do them both first. So I like to start with, with uh, with good old Snake Man. Because I really like his stage. It's all snakish. And, oh yeah. Oh, one up already. Fantastic. So, there's a couple, uh, major changes between this game and Mega Man 2. Wow, they're giving me one-ups like crazy. Um, between Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3. And the first major one is that they added the down slide, or the butt slide, whatever you want to call it. Um, so you can press down in the attack button to slide, and I love that. It's so much fun. You go, you go faster, and, uh, and it's just fun to do. Fun to slide under stuff. It makes fighting the bosses really fun. And the other major change is that when you get game over, you don't lose your energy tanks. So that makes it kind of uh, easy because you can stack energy tanks uh, if you're if you're careful with them and uh, and use them at the end. And uh, it makes for a good time fighting the final bosses. One thing that I don't like about this this game that Mega Man 2 uh, does better is there's a lot less slowdown in this game There's a lot of times where there's a lot going on on the screen and the NES chugs along and and uh, There's a lot of slowdown Just like uh, What was that other game I played that was Had a lot of slowdown. It was uh, Mighty Final Fight another Capcom game I don't really know why I killed that guy. I'm gonna have to kill him again because I'm gonna go up here and these things here, these are called surprise boxes. So you shoot it and you're never sure what you're gonna get, but that's completely useless to me because I don't have any... I don't have any Robot Master powers yet. These guys are kind of annoying. There's always at least one enemy in a Mega Man game that sort of just makes you wait. But man, this game is great. I like the stages a lot. I like the Robot Masters. And... I just love the, the downslide. And the stacking of energy tanks is is really fun, in my opinion. Because you can sort of uh, be strategic about it. And, spoiler alert, you get to fight all the robot masters from Mega Man 2 in this game as well. So, it's kind of the best of both worlds. But it's been a while since I played 4, 5, and 6. But at the moment, this is my favorite one. I wrote a top 10 on the website a long time ago that included Mega Man 5. Because I like the... Uh, the bird. I can't remember his name even, right off the top. Um, what's his name? Beat? I think his name is? Maybe? But, uh, anyway. I don't really, I don't really remember much about that game. It's been a while since I played it. And this one is fantastic. So here's a little tip for you at this point. Um, when these things come out, make sure you jump. Because sometimes they'll just, if you just let them, um, come up underneath you. Oh, I wasn't sure I was going to make that jump. They just sort of, uh, push you off the platform. And they push you off with serious force, there's no coming back from it. And it's just, it's, it's annoying more than anything. And these guys try and shoot them up high enough so that you can duck under them or low enough that you can jump over them. And here we are, already at the boss. This guy's awesome, he just, he throws little snakes at you. But I just sort of like to give him what for. You know, sometimes it might be easier to. Oh, 
energies. To do him second, because you might have an energy tank. And he's kind of a pain. See what I mean about the slowdown, though? Die. Uh oh, he's gonna come hit me again. Okay, I gotta kill him this time. Die, you vile beast. Yeah, we got him. Just barely. Sometimes I like to use an energy tank for him. Alright, but there's one robot master. Cool. There's also like extra stages in this game too. So like you don't go straight to Wily's castle. There's some stages in between. You got Search Snake. There's the password if anyone wants to use it. And the passwords include energy tanks by the way. So if you want to have a good time Look up on the internet and you can find yourself some good, some passwords. Alright, so Magnet Man is next. He's also good to kill with the Mega Buster. He's pretty cool too, he's just got a giant magnet on his head. So there's some, uh, there's some, uh, there's some annoying enemies in this stage, like these guys here. They just pull you up. And they can really, they can really screw up your jumps, so... Make sure you're not going to try and jump over a hole while there's one trying to pull you up, because if they pull you off the ground right before you jump, you just don't jump and you'll fall in the hole. Uh, yes. Enter Proto Man. So this is Proto Man, another robot created by... This guy, I think, was created by Dr. Light and Dr. Wily. And we don't know his true identity, or her true identity, I don't know. Proto... I guess it's Proto Man, but... Anyway. So he's gone, he's gone awry as well. Yeah, those guys are kind of annoying too. I just try and kill them as fast as possible. And then deal with their little missile things. Down we go. Those things are magnetic as well. See how it's pulling me towards it? Go. Oh yes, there's some health here. So I think I wanna Yeah. Just hold over to the left and you can land on there nice and easily. Ah uh, yes. Classic Mega Man. Disappearing blocks. Can't really remember the order I want to be doing. Okay. So over there, right, I remember now. And then over here and then jump. There we go. Some more. Okay, I can't remember about this one either. Let's see here. Right, okay. Gotta deal with the annoying magnet. We do have Rush as well. This one's a little bit more scary. Oh, jeez. The last one's the worst. We'll just go for it. Oh, that was close. Stupid magnets. Making everything more hard. Okay, I have full health and full energy, so I'm not going to bother going down there. And I believe everything respawns, so if I just come- yeah, everything does respawn, so if I just come back up, I'll just likely get hit by that thing again. Ugh. Alright. That's right, Magnet Man. Gotta give him what for with the old... Mega Buster. Oh, jeez. So if, I think he does the magnet thing if you get too close, because he tries to like suck you in. So you kind of want him to do this thing, so you can get some shots in on him. Because otherwise you can't hit him. Oh jeez. Almost got him. Yeah, got him. Alright. Two down. Many more to go. Many, many more. So now we have the magnet missile, which is great, because it's sort of uh, homes to robots, you know, because it's magnetic or whatever. You got magnet missile. Do you say missile or missile? 
I say missile. There's the password. And next. Okay, who's next? Hardman. He doesn't like the magnet missile. Where's Hardman? There he is. Look how hard he is. <laughs> Alright. This is a cool stage, too. It, remind, it makes me think of, like, the Flintstones. Here's my trick for those those uh, bees. Let them come down, and then get them off screen. So then you don't have to deal with them. Or you won't have to deal with them all, anyway. Watch out for the... Jaws of green thing. Alright, so here's our first chance to use Rush, our trusty dog robot friend. So RC, I'm not sure what RC stands for, but um, yeah, I should probably not be using him still. Um, but yeah, we get, we're going to get a couple versions of Rush that become super useful, which is another really cool thing about this game. More robot monkeys. Can I get him to... No, can't. Come on down. Get away from me! Oh, that was close. Get this guy from the ladder, that's always fun. I don't need his health, though. This one, I... This one... I don't remember what the best strategy for this guy is. It's just to go? Yeah. They're mining. They're looking for crystals. They were mining anyway, now they've lost their mines. Okay, we want to go up, I'm pretty sure. Think the first energy tank might be up here? Yeah, there it is. So if we look at the pause menu, see I have one energy tank? You can hold up to nine, so there's no point in stacking them beyond that. Which you will be able to do. Believe it or not. Again, more bees. Get them off screen. Watch out for the jaws. More Proto Man action. Not my best dodge. Yeah. Let's kind of accept my fate that I'm going to take some hits from this version of Proto Man. Alright, because they give us... A, yeah, nice enough to give us some health after. Oh yeah, get close to this guy and then... Oh, that was too early. But you get you get my drift. Slide under him. Okay, so Hard Man, Magnet Missile. And what's great about this game too is it shows you a little picture of what you're going to be using. Because sometimes it gets confusing. They just give you a couple letters to remember what it is. So, you don't want to miss too much with with this. See, I'm, I'm missing too much. They have used all my power, so I need to... I think I can get him still. Yeah, oh, that was close too. I missed too many times with the magnet missile. So you gotta kind of pick your shots, and I'll do a better job of that later on when we fight him again. Alright, three down. Five regular Robot Masters to go, anyway. Hard Knuckle. That's a great name for a power-up. Okay, so who doesn't like the Hard Knuckle? Top Man. Top Man doesn't like the Hard Knuckle. Where is he? There he is. This is a pretty funny one. He th he throws spinning tops. <laughs> Seems like they're kind of stretching, reaching for that one. Oh yeah, okay. So these things you have to let form before you can kill them. Oh jeez. Okay, you know what? I don't like these frog things because they're they're pretty difficult to hit. Oh yeah, they, these guys throw tops as well. I 
just seems like such a funny projectile to me. I don't need that or that. And I think we want to go up here so you can use Rush to get up. Pretty sure there's a reason I want to be up here. Can't really remember. Oh, yeah, that's the why. But I went up too early. Okay. Let's try that again. Come on down, Rush. Gotcha. Another one up. Dodgy Magoo. Okay. It's going really well so far. These things are kind of funny too. They're like, they remind me of the, uh, those like giant enemies that are in Mega Man 2. You know the ones I mean. But the butt slide. The butt slide is so great. It's in the rest of the Mega Mans on NES anyway. Pretty sure. Like I said, it's been a while since I played 4, 5, and 6. But, you know, they're next on the list. Die, you giant cat. I want to live in a world where, you know, we need mining robots, so they build giant cat robots. Quickly now. This nonsense. Okay, I need to. Okay, I guess I'll just wait for the next one. Look at that weird graphical nonsense happening on the other side of the screen. You don't want to lollygag, or else you're going down the hole. Okay, so I'm on top. Top man, he doesn't like the magnet missile, right? I'm pretty sure he really doesn't like it. Right. Once he's spinning, he can't hit him, so don't bother. Is this right? This doesn't feel right. This isn't right. I'm supposed to be using hard knuckle. Big dumb idiot. I was wondering why he wasn't dying fast enough. Pardon me, why can't I select this? There we go. That's what I want to be doing. Because I, I remember him dying really easy. There we go. So silly of me. One more hit ought to do it. Got him. Okay, that's better. I was wondering why it was taking so long. So now we have the top, what's it called? Top, uh, top spin, I think. Top spin, yes. So this is a weird one. You don't throw tops. You, uh, you spin around like a Mega Man becomes like a tornado and does damage to stuff. All right, so top spin kills Shadow Man. So Shadow Man is next. Shadow Man is great. He reminds me of, uh, it's a lot like Metal Man from Mega Man 2. More frogs. Okay, I need to deal with these frogs. It's best to just deal with the frogs, man. Gotta kill those frogs. Proto Man? Yeah. I some of the jump and shoot, so he never really hits me unless I'm not on level terrain. Oh, jeez. Although I could just run into him under my own power. There we go. Oh, another one up. 
going really well with the one-ups and not dying and whatnot. Another one! This is crazy! I've never seen so many one-ups in a run-through of Mega Man 3. How many do I have? Seven! Get out of here. Pretty cool when it goes dark. More frogs. Come here, froggy boys. No, 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 no. There we go. Just gotta time it a little better. Okay, so here's a little tricky part. So these things come down as soon as, as soon as you like to, uh, as soon as you get to the next platform. So what I like to do is jump over like I'm gonna go, but then go back. And then you can kill them from a safe distance. So just jump enough to move the screen, you know, far enough for these guys to come down. Because there's one every time. Okay, that was the last one. Oh, the, but the frog. That frog it will very likely hit you into the, into the death the death uh, lava more than once. Because it definitely did that to me. Okay, so this is Shadow Man. He doesn't like topspin. Get it right this time. So you kind of got to jump and hit B. Um, yeah. <laughs> You're going to take some hits, but that's just the nature of Top Man. But he does quick work on the, uh, on the stuff that doesn't like it. On the robots that don't like it, I should say. So now we have Shadow Blade and Rush Marine. So now we have a new power up for Rush. And Rush Marine is um, like a version of Rush that is a submarine, basically. So you can drive it through water. All right. So who doesn't like Shadow Blade? It is the Sparkman? Sparkman. I also like him a lot too. Quickly up the ladder so we can kill this thing. So now I think we want to just have Shadow Man ready to go because you can shoot it upwards and it's going to be... Oh no, it's not this time. It's the next time there's a ladder. There's a point like that where there's a guy on the ladder that you have to kill and you can shoot the Shadow Blade upwards just like Metal Blade and Mega Man 2. Best to just oh jeez. Best to just kill these things. That didn't go so well, but that's okay. Now this guy you could kill with Shadow Blade, because you can shoot it on an angle too. But why waste it? Right, okay, so. I remember this not being very fun. I might take a death here. Uh, we'll see. Okay, not there, because obviously those spikes in Mega Man are, are instant death. Everybody knows that. Oh, oh geez. No, oh, no. Okay. No, get up there. Um. Yeah, so those are instant death. I remember there's a there's another there's another spot like that that's a lot worse because those like spinning um Oh jeez. I'm sorry Rush, that was a waste of your time. Now do I have anything that needs just rush, I guess. But anyways, those like spinning nut power up things that are uh, enemies that come together, they're blue. Like in the last stage. Um, they're like on top of you and make the jumps not falling and dying a lot harder. But I think that, that must be in like a wily stage or something. Oh yeah, watch out for the garbage. So I assume that's garbage. Okay. Yes. Here they are. Ah, 
Jeez. Okay. No, 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 switch. Okay. Shadow Blade. Let's kill him. Oh, 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 no! <laughs> See, once you're hit, you can hit the spikes, apparently. And not, uh, not die from it. But you gotta get to the next platform. Yeah, that there is not much fun. I'm not a fan of that. Okay. Let the first one come. Kill it. Oh, come on, man. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Maybe downslide? I can't remember how I get through here usually. It's usually just luck. Oh, I have lots of one ups. Okay. I'm just gonna get Shadow ready. I've seen people do this with Top Man before, but I don't like that. Oh, no. Okay. I can do that, but I need to be up higher. Man, I'm getting killed a lot here. How many lives do I have left? Still have four. This is one of the harder parts, I think, in this game. Maybe that's a better way to do it. Okay, this is better. Ha 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 ha! I think I've just discovered something. Heck yes. Okay, that's a much better way to do that. Okay, Sparkman. Prepare to meet your doom. He's pretty easy. <laughs> you can just brute force him with the Shadow Blade. Not much strategy to that one. So now we have... Spark Shock. It may be that um, Snake Man or Magnet Man is weak to that, but not that I know of. Because there's no... There's no specific uh, um, robot master that's weak to spark shock, as far as I know. Okay, so now now we can kill uh, Gemini Man, which we could have killed earlier because he's weak to search snake, but from uh, the Snake Man stage. This is a great stage. I like the music a lot. That's another thing I haven't really mentioned is the music in this is re is really good. It's not as good as the music in Mega Man 2, but it's still really good. Plus, it's just a cool looking stage, and I like penguins. When I was a kid, penguins were my favorite. And I still think they're pretty darn great. When I was, uh, when I was little and I would do projects for the science fair and stuff like that, it was always about penguins. Should have just done it about Nintendo. I was like, equally obsessed back then. Get away from me, you penguin. He's kind of... Those penguins are kind of like... They remind me of... Um, oh, Proto Man is going to be a, a friendly boy here. And just open the door for me. But those penguins remind me... Oh, yeah. I always forget this. <laughs> Every time. There's a one up there that you can get if you're thinking about it ahead of time. But literally every time I forget. But I can get this health power up. But anyway, as I was saying... Those penguins remind me of King Dedede from Kirby because 
King Dedede also flings eggs and is penguin looking. I don't know what species King Dedede is actually supposed to be. Like a duck or something, or if he is a penguin, I'm not sure. These things are great though, because a, lo a lot of the time, uh, these guys drop one-ups. And I don't really know how to get that, uh, that mystery, uh, that surprise box up there. I don't know if you can kill these things with... Yeah, see, I didn't think so. So I don't know how, I don't know what you can shoot upwards at it, but anyway, I don't bother. But I do kill as many of those things as I can, because you might get a one-up out of it. Not today. But there's more to be. There's more to be had. No one-ups? I used my, all my one-up allowance already. Jeez. Usually you get at least one. There's one. Okay. So I'm gonna go take the old rush jump up to the top here. I don't think I need anything other than more rush power, so let's grab that. Okay. Now can I... Uh, not quite. That one's kind of tricky. You, you do have to make a path, or like a, a decent way to get up, else you're not going to get up. Oh, I was, on, I was doing well there for a second. Another one of these things. These little penguins are another good way to get health or, or uh, weapon power if you need it. Because they just come forever and they do drop power ups. So, they're definitely a good way to get some much needed power up if you need it. Alright, so now we can use. We can use Rush Marine here. But it. It drains pretty quick, so be prepared to... ...jump out and grab some... ...some weapon power. Oh jeez, I'm wasting it. Whoa! Dang it. See, I shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. Now I probably don't have enough. That's some. I'll just keep an eye on it as best I can, I guess. Oh jeez, I'm about to lose it. Yeah, <laughs> was not keeping an eye on it as best I can. All right, now I gotta take the hard way. Cause I don't have any rush power, rush marine power left. Best to keep moving through here. And once one of these guys shows up, sort of stop and take a minute to get out of his way. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, alright, I needed to focus there. I wanted to get that energy tank. How many energy tanks am I up to? Let's see. Three. This guy you can just kill right here. How many lives? Four. Still doing well. In the life department. Okay, so I'm about to fight a Gemini man. And he's weak to search snake. 
So he's going to split into two. And so you want to... As soon as you shoot, he shoots. So get ready for that. And then he just sort of accepts his fate once you kill the first one. But anyway, jump over him and then shoot back towards the left. And then jump again so you don't get hit. Although I didn't do a very good job of that, but... That's the best way to kill him. Alright, you got Gemini Laser. Which is a pretty cool one. It's like a laser that bounces around the stage, so you gotta be you gotta be careful and hit uh, your target or else the, the laser can take a long time to bounce around the stage and you can't shoot it again until it's either hit its target or it's gone off the screen. I was just concentrating there, because those those things can be a pain. Along with these things, they can be kind of annoying as well, but not too bad. I don't remember much about this stage, honestly, because it's the one I always do last. The music is kind of like out of tune a little bit. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, right. Watch out for those things. Those things hurt a lot. Ugh. Ish. All right, Rush, get me another energy tank. Worth it. Worth that hit for sure. I think there's another one coming up too. pretty generous with them in this game, honestly. This kind of makes it more fun to play because it's not quite as hard. I was sort of bouncing back and forth on the idea of this one or Mega Man 2 being harder. Oops. But, uh, and I still really haven't decided. This one doesn't give you the difficulty choice. Okay, I have a feeling. Let's see. What am I supposed to do here? Gemini laser him to death. Um. Let's see. Yeah, see that right there? That's what you don't want to happen. You want to hit him on the way down. Jeez. Screwed it up. It might hit him eventually. Oh, man. Luckily, his shots are pretty easy to dodge. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to make it through that in one go. I didn't want to waste an energy tank on that. So I have lots of lies. And lots of Gemini power left, as long as I don't miss too many times. Now he's going to jump up. Got him. Got him again, got him again. And got him again. Yeah, he's pretty easy to kill just as long as you hit him. Okay, so that's all the... We should get the uh, the last uh, rush power up as well here. Pretty sure. You got Needle Cannon and Rush Jet. Yeah, Rush Jet is awesome. You can fly him around. Push start. You got it. Alright, so now, four more stages. Pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Well, before we go into Wily's Castle, so, um, Needle Man stage. Do that one first. So inside this stage, we're gonna fight, not only are we gonna fight Air Man, but we're gonna fight Crash Man as well. 
You can jump up there and kill those guys quickly. Um, I seem to forget to do that every time. I think you have to. I don't know. I'm sure you can get through there without taking a hit, but I always do. But I'm not too worried about it, because there's a nice health power up right here. Okay. Oh, come on now. Might as well use this wee bit of energy. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to use Rush Jet to get over to there. Get that. And now we'll drop down here, get the one up. Jeez. Not a fan of those things. And back up we go. And quickly kill this thing. Okay, so what do I need here? Spark shock. We'll kill. I'm about to fight Airman, aren't I? Okay, I need to be careful. This would be just, this is just, would be mind-blowing when this game came out. No. Okay, I'm gonna use an energy tank, because I will get hit again. Guaranteed. But there's still lots to be had. Yeah, I got him. And the stage continues. Right. Okay, so I, I need Rush Jet. For this next bit. Okay, so... Be very careful with your Rush Jet power here. You want to do this in one go. Or else... You're kind of screwed. Because there's all this nice power to be had. But... If you screw it up, you're, you're gonna need to get game over. So then I like to conserve... Oh, jeez. No, no, stop hitting me. And keep an eye on your health, too. It's better to use energy tank here than to... die and go back, because you need all this rush jet power. I'm almost out of it, <laughs> which I do not like. Okay. Let's do this. Rush, let's get through this. You know, I'm gonna grab it. It's probably a waste, but whatever. Fill up the rush jet. Okay, alright, keep an eye on your health. Don't die. Oh, right, okay. Right. Careful now. And focus. All right. Can I fill up anything? Yes. Fill up. Spark shock, I guess, a little bit, just in case. Again, keep an eye on your health. Don't die. That would be tragic.
Yes, that's exactly what I needed. That guy's just like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Flying right off the screen. Okay, another one of these things. Come on now. Come down where I can hit you. Having trouble killing this guy. <laughs> that wasn't clear at all. There he goes, finally. Don't give in, never give up. No, 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 face the other way, Mega Man. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Alright. That was very close to death. Okay, so I'm about to fight Crash Man, who doesn't like Hard Knuckle. Again, be very careful with the health here. I think I do get to continue at the boss here if I do die, but... I'm not taking the chance. No, no, not, not worth it. Oh, jeez. Good. Thank goodness. I like to do that stage first, because I don't like it very much. I don't like that necessity of using the rush jet and it's so easy to screw it up. Okay, Shadow Man stage has Woodman and Heat Man in it. We'll do that next. More death spikes. Okay, now, be, be, be very careful here with the spiky ladders. Do not try and jump off the ladder to fall down, because you'll just, you'll, you'll hit the spikes. Ah. Okay, so these things open up. That's all I can say about that. So you could just rush jet your way across. Which is probably what I'll end up doing when I screw this up. <sighs> oh. That was stressful, I'll tell ya. But yeah, don't forget, you have rush jet. So don't be afraid to use them. Alright, Woodman doesn't like the old needle cannon. Look at him coming in. He's like, hi guys! Similar strategy to- oh jeez. Oh, that was way too early. That's okay. Got him anyway. Didn't have to use an energy tank. Because there's going to be energy here. Yeah, these guys are real fun in a, in a narrow corridor. Okay, yeah, more of these things. Same thing applies. Jump forward a little bit to get into spawn. And then watch out for frogs. Okay. Watch out for frogs. So devastating to get hit into a hole by a frog. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh no. There's a frog behind me. Oh no. Okay. 
Okay, do I need anything? Just need a man, I guess. Yeah. Oh! Oh no, I was, I was trying to get through. I got hit. Okay, how many lives do I have? Three. Yeah. Okay. I'll do a better job this time, I swear. It's those stupid frogs, man. I just really don't want to get hit into a hole by a frog. Because it happens. <gasps> man! No. Remember when I said I'd do a better job this time? That was a lie. Ah, oh, jeez. You can also sort of hang back. Oh, jeez. And just jump at them. It's probably a safer thing to do. Although I got hit anyway doing it. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what made him spawn there. I don't think he spawned there last time. Take it very slowly. Screw you, frog. Aha, better. Okay. So, who am I about to fight now? I already killed Woodman. So, Heatman. Heatman doesn't like Shadow Blade, apparently. I'll give him what for with the old Shadow Blade. <laughs> he looks pretty subdued. on the health. Yes. Good. Okay. Progress. Solid progress there. Sparkman stage is next. So in this stage we'll fight Meta Metal Man and Quick Man. Who don't like Magnet Missile and Gemini Laser respectively. So... Just waited, apparently. So this is the one I was talking about before, where you need to have your Shadow Blade ready going up this ladder. It's cool that you get to go back into the stages. What am I doing here? Shadow. There we go. Okay, yeah, so these things here, uh, you can uh, you can stand on these things. See that? Um, I'm not gonna go up there. I don't need to. But they're little, they're spinny things, and they, sp they spin around and they're easy to fall off of. So be careful with that, especially when there's death spikes below you. Oh man. That was interesting. Alright, so who's first? Metal Man doesn't like the Magnet Missile. Oops. Again, don't miss too much. There are lots of health. I shouldn't need to use an energy tank here. Aha, got him. Used all my Magnet Power though. 
Alright. This part is very scary. Mind you of anything? Mind you of that terrible part in Mega Man 2? It was interesting that, like, that thing, like, disappeared. It sort of despawned, didn't it? Oh, jeez. Oh, that was tight. Face the other way, please, Mega Man. Do as I command. More garbage. Oh. I don't like the way the screen sort of jitters there. Alright, so what was next? Quick Man, he doesn't like Gemini Laser. So again, don't miss. That's the key here. Oh, it's not. Uh oh. Oh no, I, no, no, okay. Might have been a waste, but whatever. Oh man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hit him. Yeah. This is, this is, this is horrible. Yes. Death the quick man. Man, that was tough. There must, there might be an easier way to kill him. I'm not sure. All right. Gemini man stage. So we got Flash man and Bubble man in this one. I've used, I've used a lot of energy tanks, more than I normally would. But no game overs yet. Does it fill everything? Well, yeah, it still does fill everything. I seem to remember that getting away from the edge here is very important. Because there's a lot of guys that can hit you off these little platforms here. Yeah, right there is a, it's a good, a good, whoops, a good time to wait because you can land on the fire and end up in the hole again right there. It's an unfortunate health power up down the hole. That I can get, I think. Oh yeah, I have the... Of course I can. I have the power of the jet. And it's a one-up. So we shall grab it. No, it was, oh, it's, that was unfortunate. I was trying to just get back up there. If there's any reason to do that, which doesn't appear that there is. Chance to fill up my rush jet again. Just keep an eye on those guys up top. Hey. Okay. No. Die, you vile beasts. Yeah, so one up. Okay, again, I don't know how to get those. Might kill these ones too, just in case they give me something sweet. And they didn't. Oh, come on now. Oh, man. It's sweet that they give you so many one-ups, but again, they don't mean as much in this game because... Would you stop? 
Oh my lord, Mega Man. Face the way I want you to, please. But yeah, they don't mean as much because you don't lose your energy tanks when you get game over. I'm back up to six lives again. Alright, so... Flashman, Needle Cannon. I take the old brute force method there. No, um... No health power up, though. What happens? Oh, yes. More Rush Marine time. Again, watch your health because you don't want to do this more than once. I don't even think I need that. Yeah, because you can jump high in water. I think there's some. Uh, I think there's some. I think there's an energy tank to be had up here somewhere. No, nope, not in there. I do think there's one coming up though. I guess not. Okay, so who am I about to fight here? Um, can't remember. Bubble Man, of course. I'm underwater. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and kill him, but I might just take a death here because I'm sort of running low on energy tanks. I need to start conserving them again. So he doesn't like. You know, I'll just, I'll, I'll try it. You get lots of shadow, shadow blade power. Um, and that is what he's weak to. Oh no. Oh, come on, I thought I had him. Okay, whatever. I don't know how far back I have to go though. Yeah, I was pretty sure I didn't have to go back. But, you never... You never know. He's got his goggles on. He's ready to do some... Serious damage. <laughs> I should have just done that the first time. Oh well. Alright, now it's off to Breakman. But, I'm, um, you know. He's labeled as Breakman here, but this is Proto Man. I'm sure of it. I looked it up. Oh no, right after we received the last element, Wily ran off with the ga with Gamma. Who could have predicted that? Dr. Light, you silly goose. You shouldn't trust that man. What's interesting is there's at the end of the game there's some there's some text that's way outside the 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 like the overscan of a normal TV like it's going to be off screen with my frame meister and I won't be able to read it on my PVM so I'm pretty sure I know what it says but uh, it's pretty funny like back in the day you wouldn't have been able to read it on your on your CRT cuz I can't like I have my PV, my PVM set for pretty much maximum viewing um, so like I don't even really cut off overscan and I still can't see it's below the below the bottom of the screen which is funny to me but die you top thing all right so we're you know on far on our on our way through Wily's castle 
be it. Energy tank. I'm very careful not to fall on the spikes there. The music here is great though. This is so, so good. Now, okay, so I believe that Hard Knuckle breaks these things. Similar to, uh, Crash Man. Oh yeah, of course. As soon as you switch power-ups, you're falling off the ladder. No, the other way, Mega Man. Alright, an energy tank. This is good. Rush our way up. to the old hard knuckle. And we'll rush jet our way up to the top. Get that energy tank. And so, like, when you do get game over, um, you know, the power-ups come back, but you still have your energy tanks. So you can, like, legitimately, if you want to just get a bunch, you can just die repeatedly on the stage and stack them up. But I'm not going to do that, because it's going to take a while. And I don't think I need that many. I only need a couple. But it's pretty easy to get to the end with nine energy tanks, if you're so inclined to do so. That's like, do you think that, do you think that that was like a programming error? Like, it's a pretty big uh, game change. Um, I think usually I just. Do this with this one. Whoop! See you later. And again, you could use rush here if you wanted to. You ever felt a little nervous about doing that? Okay, so who do I have to fight here? The turtle machine, it's called. If my notes are correct. grab this. And I want to use the shadow blade on the turtle machine. Man, I love this music though. So this thing is gonna make a bunch of turtles. Similar to that boss in uh, Mega Man 2. But, oh geez, watch out for those things. They don't hurt you, but they send you flying. No. Come on now. Oh, come on. Go in an angle like I want you to. Jeez. Got him. Once those things get moving around, it's best if you can hit them right coming out the bottom of the machine, but... Easier said than done. Okay, so I think I want to go up the left side, is that right? Nope. I was wrong. Nah. Now, do I even need that? Yeah, see, like, after- the, in the Wily stages, they don't fill you up. So, I need, uh, let's see, what am I about to fight? I'm gonna about to fight the rock monster, so I need hard knuckle. So I better fill that up. And what else do I have that's missing stuff? Rush. Rush jet's more important. We'll fill that up really quick. This is, this is tedious, obviously. But needs to be done. Oh yeah, that's why I wanted to go up the left. Might as well grab the one up. Might as well. As you know, there's going to be a boss rush. I'm going to have to fight all the original eight again. Jeez. So, it's good to have one-ups there, for sure. Because as long as you're still on the same continuum, all the bosses you've killed stay dead. Alright, here's an interesting area. More jaw things, and more bees. So, again, get them off screen as best you can. 
and just don't have to deal with them. You can get them all off. I'm just not doing a great job of it, but you get the you get the idea. Yeah, I, I didn't follow my own rule there. Okay, get out of here. Okay, that was that was bad. I forgot that there was one more of those things coming. I'll come down here, get some power up, because there's there's energy tanks to be had. Friends. Six of them. I don't wanna I might have just made a, a tactical error. Oh, that was close. I almost killed myself there, didn't I? Now I can switch. Alright. Rock monster time. Luckily, he's not nearly as hard as Mega Man 2 Rock Monster. It's not nearly as hard to dodge these things. I need hard knuckle out. Pretty sure, yeah. Oh, jeez. So you gotta make sure you time it good. Time it well, I should say. Um, because hard knuckle takes a while to get there, and his eye is only open for a short period of time. And in this one, you're probably gonna use an energy tank. I'll just say that up front. Yeah, see right here, that takes a lot of that takes a lot of ugh, a lot of health away. So yeah, see that? So unless you wanna, you know, be dead, use an energy tank. Focus power. Down your son. through here without using another energy tank? No, I can't. Pretty much guaranteed to get hit again. Yeah. Worth it. Worth it to kill that that old that old boy. I have no idea how many energy tanks I have left. Four. That's plenty. I feel like there's a reason I probably should go up the right side of the screen, because it's the harder path. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can kill this thing from here. What am I doing? Alright, so now I can choose what I want to fill up. Hard knuckles, good. What else have we got here? Rush jet is always... It's good to fill that up, so let's fill that up. Oh yes, energy tank, fantastic. More dark times. More dark times for Mega Man. Oh jeez. Pretty cool. I gotta say, I like how it like... No, no, get away from me. I'm stuck. I need, I need, I need to go down here. Get this health. Is there anything else I can, yeah. Don't know what's down here. Oh yeah, that guy. It has literally no purpose. I love when I don't get hit by these things. Because it's easier said than done to slide under those things. Ah, yes. This part right out of Bucky O'Hare. I'm glad I already did that one. That's a hard game. Much harder than Mega Man 3.
right, some surprise. Okay, that's that's good. Fill out the old hard knuckle. And what am I about to fight? Uh, the, okay. The cloning machine. You know what, I should fill this. So the cloning machine is just like it sounds. I have nine lives. Okay, I'm not gonna use an energy tank. If I die, ah, I don't know where I, if I go back or not. Okay, you gotta find the real Mega Man. Not that one. It's the middle one. Currently, man, they're crushing me. Okay, all right. Well, this will be a good experiment. How far do I go back? Not all the way. Good. really rather not use an energy tank there, or at least I'd rather get further into the fight before I use an energy tank. Because you never know which one it's going to be. But it's quite often the one in the middle, or the one on the top, the ones that are hard to get to. Nope. Yeah, that's the top one this time. Oh, jeez, see? You know what I mean? Dang it! Cut me, a, cut me some slack here. Okay, I finally found him. Can I need health? Oh, it's the middle one again. Okay, I need to use an energy tank. At least they don't hurt to touch, apparently. All right. The cloning machine is dead. All right, what can I fill? Anything? Just the old rush. Down the hole we go. These things suck. Garbage monsters, I call them. I don't know what they're actually called. They just fling garbage at you. And it's very difficult to dodge garbage, too. <laughs> if you can find a way to dodge that, I would love to know. That one you can dodge. I just didn't do it because I suck. All right, time for the boss rush. All right, so who's first? I can't remember. This is the guy that doesn't like Gemini laser, I'm pretty sure. Needle man. Oh, jeez. Got him. Okay, that's one down, that's good. Loads of lives, loads of lives here. Magnet Man. Magnet Man is a n not a friend of the... M oh, jeez. Of the uh, Mega Buster. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Lots of lies. Lots of lies. How many do I have left? Seven. Eight, really. Okay. Ugh, get away from me. Oh, jeez. Come on now. I will not die again on, mag on Magnet Man. That's right. He will die on me. All right, Gemini man. He doesn't like a. He doesn't like a. He's afraid of snakes. It's 
It's nice to kill him, he's so easy. Okay, I don't know who's next. Hardman. Hardman doesn't like the old magnet. So again, can't miss. Pick your shots here. Gotcha. That's a much better use of my magnet man. See, I, I told you I'd do better at that. Top man. What is top man not like again? Hard knuckle. Oh jeez. That was a really bad jump. Really bad. doesn't like top spin. Oh no, I'm out of it. That's bad. So now now's the time to use an energy tank if you need to. Like I do. Because I don't have any more top man, see? Because I didn't kill him fast enough. And he sucks without it. Jeez. So you don't want to waste what you've done with the top spin. Alright. This boy doesn't like shadow times. Yeah, that was that was a bit of a risk. And by a bit I mean a lot of a risk. And who's left? Snake Man. So We'll not use an energy tank on him. I'll take a I'll take a death instead. Yeah. At least I'll do a better job. I'm gonna, you know, at least do a better job than that. So I only have three energy tanks, but I have six lives. I need to conserve energy. So what do I need? I need Spark Shock. Let's get some of that going. Okay. Another one up. What else do I need? I need Rush Jet, which I've got. I need Shadow Blade, which I've got. I need... I need Top Spin. That's what I really should have filled up. That's okay. Okay, there's gonna okay, good, good. Because I, I really need top spin. It is 100% necessary. Useless. And, okay, so I have Spark Shock, Rush Jet, Shadow Blade. Alright, um. Spark Shock is the first thing I need. Here comes Wily in his slow stepping machine. Okay. So now, he's weak to something else, but this is what I do.
because this seems pretty effective to me. Much more effective than the other way. Because you gotta wait for him to get down low to hit him with what he's weak to. But that is a much better way. Oh look, he's begging for mercy. But he's just a decoy robot, Dr. Wily. Because we know he's taking Gamma. He's got Gamma somewhere. Alright. Look at this, there's a, a nice... A nice, uh... One up an energy tank right here in the last stage. I'll just fill up everything just because. Why not? Even if I get game over, it doesn't even matter. Okay, I don't know why they give you a health power up, but whatever. Alright, time to fight Gamma. And the first thing you need is Shadow Blade. So quickly, get underneath him. Start hitting him in the face and just move back and forth slightly. Okay, so now, now you have to use Top Spin to uh, do damage to the... Wow. N no. Okay, I thought it I thought it glitched for a second. I was about to lose my friggin' mind. Okay. Um <laughs> That was so terrifying. If it glitched on the last guy, oh man. Alright, we'll try that again. I guess you don't even need to move if you're right under the middle. Okay, top spin. And now, top spin his face. Oh, yeah. That's the only thing he's weak to. It takes a bunch of hits, so mash the B button. But that's all it takes. Please, please have mercy. I've changed my ways. Please, I'm Dr. Wiley, please. And we're getting crushed by garbage, but Proto Man is here to save us. Where's Dr. Wiley? Oh, no, too late. And who knows if it says something below that. Mega Man, you have regained consciousness. I found you lying here when I arrived. See, look at that. You can't even read it. I wonder who brought you here. This whistle. It must have been Proto Man. All right. We've done it. We've done it. Mega Man 3 is complete. That's a gr oh man, that's a great game. So good. And you know, not terribly expensive. A lot cheaper than Mega Man 1. And, you know, if you go into a game store, Mega Man 2 is probably going to cost more money than Mega Man 3. Because it's more popular. Even though it's more common. So... Get yourself Mega Man 3 and have yourself a grand old time. But I'm very excited to play Mega Man 4, 5, and 6. And I did I did go ahead and buy 9 and 10 on Wii before it was too late. Brother of Mega Man. Mind explosion. So we've learned his true identity. Is that why is that Wily's spaceship in the distance. But yeah, so I did I did buy a 9 and 10 on uh, on Wii before it was too late, and um, I tried it with an NES Classic controller, and it, and it works great. So I'm looking forward to doing those. Gemini Man. Yoshi, Yoshiichitu? I'm really bad at reading Japanese names. Top Man is great. I also really like Snake Man. He's got like a snake ponytail. Suzuki. Shadow Man. Well, thanks again for watching. That is such a great game. So feel free to go pick it up. It's probably even cheaper on Famicom if you're willing to go that route. 
Um, I don't know if there's anything uh, anything special about the Famicom one versus the North American one. I think that there's, they're just the same game. I think that after Mega Man 2, they stopped doing that thing where they made it easier for North America, but I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that. But uh, look at all these swell folks that had had their hand in on this game. Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure it uh, mentions... Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought it was going to mention that guy's papa again. But I guess not. I guess he didn't help with this one. Presented by Capcom. And that's it. I guess that's the end screen. Sit here and enjoy the music some more. As always, thanks for watching. If you like, uh, if you like 8-bit stuff and other video game jargon, check out the website and uh, subscribe to the channel. But thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you next time for Mega Man 4.